851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. The first A330-800 NEO has taken to the skies for the very first time in recent hours, departing to loose. The aircraft, which emerged from the paint line in February, is finally today completing its first flight after numerous ground tests, and a period where it did not actually have a single order to its name. This came after Hawaiian Airlines cancelled their order for eight of the aircraft and moved over to the Boeing 787. Since then, the A330-800neo has gradually climbed in the order count, with most recently Kuwait Airways signing a purchase agreement for eight of the aircraft. This was placed in mid-October. During the 2018 Farnborough Air Show, this was in July, Uganda Airlines of Uganda signed an MOU for just two of the Dash 800 NEOs. This now means that the Dash 800 NEO has accumulated just 10 commitments, MOUs or orders, while the Dash 900 NEO has over 250 at this stage. The aircraft is powered by the Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engines. These are actually the engines which recently have been revealed to have issues in delivery. The cause of this problem is the Trent 1000 durability issues and the fact Rolls-Royce is putting all their time and effort into fixing this problem. However, the Dash 800 Neo is up in the skies, and this is a huge plus for the program and also Rolls-Royce. Airbus is currently using MSN 1888 for its certification program. In addition to this first flight, the A330 Neo is currently going through a busy month, with the delivery of the first Neo in general scheduled for sooner rather than later with Tap Air Portugal. This A330 800 Neo will complete around 300 hours of flight testing to get it certified and ready for operations with airlines. The A330 800 is a re engined A330 200, and the A330 900 is a re engined A330 300. After a slow start, the aircraft is in fact growing in orders, with a few being placed throughout the year. While this isn't the longest video, any new aircraft completing its first flight is, in my opinion, noteworthy and certainly worth covering on the channel. I'd like to thank you very much for tuning into this video of mine, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.